today the, the uh, first moving to the uh, introduction of uh, speech recognition, which is a kind of main part of uh, this uh, the, the lecture. So we have a couple of agenda today. One is that uh, uh, the, to try to do the kind of some demonstration of speech recognition. And the, uh, we also introduced the measure performance measure, uh, how to kind of evaluate uh, our speech recognition is good or not. And uh, we also uh, discussed about how we obtain the transcriptions. Uh, and I will also briefly explain about the database. And then today, uh, in the last part, I will also explain about the weekly uh, assignment, uh, uh, the homework. OK, so let's move to the, uh, the, uh, the general introduction. Uh, the automatic speech recognition, as everyone here may know now, the, co uh, the task is to convert the waveform to text, uh, like using the Siri or uh, the Google uh, or whatever to uh, the convert the, some kind of a text uh, speech information to the text information. So let's uh, the, try to uh, the, do some demonstration, like uh, English, Google, uh, voice search. I have where are they? So wait a moment. Uh, so we need to change this one. Define. I want to go to the CMU campus. Carnegie Mellon University is seven minutes from your location. This is a good uh, the speech equation, right? Well, let's try to kind of uh, do a bit more test. I want to go to the CMU campus. Carnegie Mellon University is seven minutes from your location <laughs> cool. by car and heavy. Uh, our Google colleagues are doing well. But uh, let's try to do a bit more harder one. Um, okay. So I usually try to make a noise uh, by myself. Uh, the, uh, like, for example, I want to go to the CMU campus. Carnegie wow, very cool. <laughs> seven minutes yes. from your location by car and heavy traffic. Here are your directions. I think for this particular one, uh, may, the, since it is the, the, uh, the uh, the doesn't I kind of sign in, and also the uh, at least this one should not have a such kind of adaptation function, as far as I know. Yeah, they might do something, but uh, basically, uh, they don't have. So still, uh, the, the performance is very good. I still try to find the way to kind of uh, for them to fail. Uh, so let's try to make a noise, bigger noise. It's not unique. So the I had a this is my voice uh, actually. The example of this one and this one is uh, the same error count. And uh, for I want to go to the CMU campus. Carnegie Mellon wow. University is seven minutes from your location by car and heavy traffic. Uh, Still very Here are your directions. I try to find the example that it is failing, but it seems like our our friend that the people in Google are doing very well. Okay, so next, maybe I can also change the setting and change the language. Um, it was not easy, actually. So, again, Japanese somewhere. I can only speak English and Japanese, so apologize that the uh, example is Based in Japanese. Sorry, I couldn't find it. Now it becomes Japanese. Carnegie Mellon Daigaku Nikitai des. Jutai no bai. That's actually perfect. Yeah, <laughs> please trust me. <laughs> I 
Okay, so uh, I I did a couple of experience experiments here, and uh, I wanted to find some kind of a other uh, failed example, but I uh, I couldn't show you that, guys. But uh, uh, the last time I did several other trials, and I found this kind of mistakes. Uh, the this sound a little bit similar, but it's actually having some mistakes. And the uh, uh, same for the uh, Japanese cases. Um, the, the, there are some kind of mistakes uh, that I also uh, found. Uh, and then uh, the, um, yeah, if perfectly working, it is fine. But uh, uh, the technology is sometimes that are making the problem difficult uh, in the kind of adverse conditions. And then that we want to uh, actually evaluate uh, the performance of speech recognition. So uh, the first part of this lecture is starting about how to kind of evaluate the performance. So uh, the first uh, the, the, uh, evaluation metric is the sentence error rate. Uh, regardless, regardless of whether uh, the other part is kind of correct, if some, some part of the sentence is uh, wrong, uh, this uh, becomes uh, the wrong. This sentence error is quite kind of intuitive, and probably that people may first thinking that this is a kind of a measure uh, for speech recognition, uh, right? And this is actually a good measure but at the same time, as you see that uh, only this part is wrong, right? And the other part is actually correct. But making everything to be done wrong is a kind of a not uh, the, 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 a little bit too close measure. So people usually don't use uh, the sentence uh, the error rate so much. Uh, instead, uh, the people are using the uh, word error rate. Uh, for example, in this case, uh, we have uh, these two kind of uh, the, uh, the words are wrong, right? And then uh, there is kind of a two, uh, the, the, these two can become a C and uh, that and the CMU, not sure but exactly, but may become a, a, uh, that become A, and this part is actually missing. So there are kind of uh, the, the two types of error uh, in this example. Uh, this part is called the substitution errors, and this part uh, is called uh, the deletion error. And then in this kind of example, we have a three uh, error count, uh, and then we can compute the, the word error rate uh, uh, divided by the number of the difference word, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the, the error becomes 37.5%. Uh, so this is a kind of a, a definition that the people are widely use uh, in the, the speech recognition. However, uh, this is not always kind of uh, easy to apply in some languages. Uh, for example, the Japanese cases and the uh, Mandarin and so on. Uh, we usually don't have uh, the, 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 the uh, word boundary. And then word boundary can be dependent on the system or definition of the, uh, the, uh, some uh, the linguistic uh, the manner and so on. So it's not easy to actually get a word of, uh, boundary. In this case, uh, people also often using the uh, character uh, error rate. Uh, and in this example, the, we just have uh, two characters. I don't know how you guys uh, the, uh, the recognize, but anyway, this is one character and this is one character. And uh, uh, this case is, there are two other characters that are, are corresponding to the error. And then in this case, the character error rate is uh, the, uh, divided by the, uh, the uh, uh, number of the other uh, characters here uh, the, in, in the denominator, and it becomes 11.1%. Uh, um, however, this uh, the, the substitution, deletion, uh, insertion is actually not easy to compute in general. We have to have some kind of alignment uh, of you know this part to be same, this part to be same, and identify uh, which part would be errors and so on. So this uh, the part is not easy to compute, but uh, uh, the fortunately we have a lot of kind of uh, the algorithm to uh, the solve this. And one of the most famous approach is that the uh, uh, Levenstein distance, edit distance computation, and this is the, uh, the try to kind of uh, get to the other. Uh, uh, insertion, deletion, uh, substitution, error, uh, combination uh, as a kind of a minimum number uh, in uh, the in uh, the all possible kind of a candidate uh, of the, the error patterns. 
So this one is actually at a, at a, a quite kind of efficiently computed by using the, uh, the algorithm. So I will uh, explain about it. So first, we write the, the uh, reference and the hypothesis as a matrix. Okay. And then we inserted uh, uh, one additional line, one additional column, and one additional row. This are the extra row corresponding to the case that there is no, for example, the uh, no output in the reference or no output uh, in the hypothesis. And then uh, we can actually uh, compute the, uh, the, uh, the errors uh, by uh, the, uh, the checking uh, this kind of uh, the table and then computing each error and so on. And usually using this kind of equations, this uh, the equation is corresponding to the insertion error, deletion error, and the substitution error. And I will uh, explain each of the other uh, error in uh, more detail. So first, uh, the, the, each of the point uh, corresponding to the kind of matching uh, of the, uh, the uh, reference and the hypothesis. So for example, this part uh, the here, this element, uh, corresponding to that there is no hypothesis and there is no reference. And this point here is that the, there is no reference, uh, but the hypothesis ha has a C. And this, this part is actually having a hypothesis uh, the C, A, and the reference is uh, nothing. So by uh, the add, adding this kind of extra uh, the, the column, uh, we can actually have a case that there is no reference and there is no hypothesis and uh, how we kind of compute the error. Again, this is a case where the, there is no difference uh, the, and then having uh, the hypothesis, this is a kind of a extra word we generated, right? And which correspond to the, the error one, uh, the, uh, one error and the two count of the error and the three count of the error. And we also have uh, opposite cases. For example, uh, the difference is this kind of four other uh, uh, word but the system doesn't output anything. And then uh, this is the, 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 the uh, one uh, the missing uh, the, the word, two missing word, three missing word, four missing word. So each element uh, corresponding to the kind of error, uh, the, what kind of error it occurs. And this part of the, uh, the, uh, the additional kind of extra line is easy. We just kind of accumulating the error, right? And then this other corresponding to the, uh, the insertion error uh, and the deletion error. But uh, this is uh, not uh, the, uh, the, uh, the entirely true because actually hypothesis is go to the from uh, the, the, uh, the here and the difference is also here. We actually want to find the, uh, the, the error account in the last part, this uh, the right corner. And then uh, how to uh, the get it? We actually consider all possibility. For example, starting from here and then going to right. Going to right means that we also have an additional kind of uh, the uh, additional uh, the hypothesis, and then this can be an additional insertion error. And then this is uh, the adding from one to one, and it becomes two. Another possible direction is comes from here to here. And then deletion can be from one to one and equal to two. And another possible error, it comes from here to here, diagonal line. And in this case, the, the substitution uh, the error is actually in this case that there is no kind of error. So uh, it can be zero, but the here, uh, the C and the two is different. Huh? So we actually adding one. So this uh, the, uh, the each of the other uh, part corresponding to the arrow of the from the, the left to right is the, this first line, or uh, the, the, the top to bottom is the second line, and then uh, the, the third line is substitution. And each of the paths, we try to find the minimum, uh, the, 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 uh, the error. And then in this case, substitution case, the still uh, the error count is one. So we actually are uh, uh, using this one uh, as a, uh, the uh, other error point here. 
And then by continuing this kind of a computation, we could actually get the uh, all the kind of uh, the error count in the table incrementally, and then uh, we can actually compute uh, all the other uh, error. In this case, actually the error is three. However, uh, and then the, the, after that, we can uh, actually find that, for example, by considering this root, uh, we have a two uh, the, the sub substitution error and the uh, one uh, the, the uh, the one error that is missing, or uh, the the other case is also uh, the, the happens. Uh, we can still have uh, this kind of error. So in this case, it's the first part is the substitution error, and then second part is deletion error, and the third part is the substitution error. So actually, this uh, error pattern is not unique. This is also not. So just I uh, want to kind of recap uh, this computation. Uh, Levenstein distance is can actually go to 100 over the hundred percent error. So because if we have a lot of uh, the repetition of the word, it would have a lot of insertion errors, insertion error counts, right? Which actually goes to more than uh, the the, uh, the uh, original uh, number of count in the reference. So it goes to over hundred. And as I mentioned, uh, this uh, breakdown is not unique. So it can be kind of uh, the, the, the uh, in substitution, substitution, deletion, or uh, the substitution, uh, deletion, substitution. Either also happens. But uh, both cases, uh, the, the, the error count is three. So we actually cannot uh, identify it. Also, some rules to uh, the, the fix the kind of order, but basically we cannot fully identify uh, this which part is uh, the, the substitution, uh, the, the deletion, and so on. So, uh, the, but still, uh, this is a very good measure. Uh, for example, I often ask uh, that we'll ask you guys to check this kind of a number. Please check insertion errors. Please check the deletion errors. Please check the substitution errors. So substitution error is more kind of intuitive, right? That, that saying something wrong. But uh, if the very extreme insertion error happens, like for example, this case, uh, the system uh, the, the repeated, I want to go to, I want to go to, I want to go to. It sounds like there are some kind of errors uh, in the kind of system behavior, right? So in this case, it's actually easy to detect what's happening. And the same for the deletion cases. It's the extremely small. Maybe uh, the, the issues, again, not only for the kind of uh, the, the purely kind of system, it's maybe due to some kind of uh, errors in the other part. So we can easily identify the issue and so on. So I recommend you guys to actually always check the deletion and a uh, number of the deletion and the, the uh, insertion whether they are extremely large uh, in these cases, uh, there are some kind of issues uh, that are not in the kind of system level, but some kind of bug and so on. Okay, and then uh, the, with this kind of explanation, I will move to the short quiz. Um, Shuankai, can you? Yes. So the, uh, the quiz is to uh, compute this uh, uh, error count and then uh, report the number. Uh, the number can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, not 1, 2, 3, 4, as far as I remember. But anyway, they're showing in the, uh, the piazza now, right? Yeah. Can you guys see the piazza? Okay. And the computing it, by the way, do not speak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> computing and then the, the, uh, uh, the submit your answer. So 
equation is like this. Yeah, this is the answer. So these parts are brown, right? And the, we have a three possibility. Oops. From here to here, uh, the one plus one becomes two. From here to here, one plus one becomes two. From here to here, uh, the zero plus uh, the, the local distance. And that is actually correct. So it's actually zero. So this part, uh, zero versus two versus two, and the minimum is zero. So this becomes zero. And then uh, the move to the this next one, uh, two plus one becomes three, zero plus one becomes one, and the one plus uh, the, this one, uh, C and Z is different. So it's actually accumulated one. So one versus two versus three, and it uh, goes to one uh, and so on. So by doing that, uh, we can actually uh, fill out all the table and we can uh, get the all the kind of error count. Okay. Uh, yes. It's uh, the, basically the, uh, the, 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 as I uh, the, uh, the written here, uh, basically uh, the, just a Kronecker delta, whether it is the correct or not. So that's why the, the, the correct case is zero. Why I kind of be making it a little bit kind of abstract? This is because some cases we can actually using a different uh, the, 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 uh, the metric for, he, for here. So like even for example, the, uh, the word is slightly different, the character is similar, and then local substitution uh, will be changed and so on. But anyway, generally it is zero versus one. Okay. And the, don't worry that you guys can enjoy more in the big table in the homework. <laughs> yeah, a little bit too tough, yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, I will move to the uh, several other uh, the metrics and so on. So uh, the, we usually using this kind of word error rate or character error rate and the computing with the edge distance. But uh, there are several other measures for example, the uh, the last uh, the, the the ASR example, the some of the errors are uh, actually sound similar, right? But just the word is different and so on. In this case, is uh, probably the model itself is not so bad, but the model to kind of converting the the, the phone information to the word, this function may not be strong. So to measure this kind of word, people also using a phoning error rate. And some other errors are also the, the proposed, but generally phoneme error rate, uh, the character error rate, word error rate, and sometimes sentence error rate are often used uh, the in our uh, the measure. And the, I uh, the often uh, the, the, the use this tool, uh, SC, SCTK, uh, NIST speech recognition uh, the, uh, scoring toolkit, uh, because uh, this is a kind of very well-known standardized uh, toolkit. So, I actually often that I want to mention that the metric is super important, right? If there is a bug in the metric, it will be disaster, right? That uh, the, the, your kind of a result and the, our result, potentially it can be same, but if there is a bug and it becomes uh, different, it, we cannot compare uh, the, 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 uh, our result and so on. So setting the metric is very important part, component of the science. And the other uh, NIST is actually standardization. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the working on the standardization, a uh, national institute. And it's actually providing this kind of uh, the scoring tool. They are also the, the providing, by the way, other kind of unit like our, uh, the, uh, atomic clock and so on. It's also the managed by NIST. Uh, the, by uh, the using this kind of standardized tool, we can safely uh, evaluate uh, the, our uh, the, the, the uh, metric. So I uh, the recommend you guys to actually be careful about using some kind of evaluation measure. Uh, that is my kind of uh, the one suggestion. And the this uh, the graph I often sh will show you uh, the this is a quite kind of a, uh, the typical graph in speech recognition history. So uh, the this uh, the, the y axis is word error rate. Lower is better. 
and the x-axis is year. And this other result is actually using the same corpus. And then every year, researchers are kind of using different techniques or more data, but at least that are always kind of setting the same test set and the same evaluation metrics. And then what's happening is that we can compare the performance easily. So this sounds very kind of uh, the, 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 the straightforward, right? But it's actually this uh, the kind of cases uh, do not happen in the other area, but speech recognition cases, we actually knew that this kind of evaluation is very important. Uh, and actually, uh, the, this uh, the, the, uh, competition, uh, they're quite uh, widely used even in the 1990s, so that we actually the accumulating the, uh, the, the technologies and we can actually easily can get the kind of benefit of the deep learning. So there are several kind of stories but speech recognition is one of the first area that's showing that deep learning is performing quite well because of this kind of benchmarking, same evaluation metric, and we can easily compare the performance. So this is uh, the, the kind of the, the, the area that people may call that speech recognition is easy because we can easily evaluate our system is better or not based on the water array. Again, uh, the, the, it sounds like a very kind of trivial, but it's actually not. Uh, the other speech processing area or the other many of the, uh, the, the machine learning applications, it is actually not true. Like for example, even for the speech area, speech synthesis, it is very difficult to evaluate whether the created speech is good or not. Good may mean that the, the sounds better or sounds kind of correctly, speech is different. Uh, and we also need to ask people to listen. So this is very, very kind of painful and the time consuming. Same for the spoken dialogue systems. We are not sure that what is the kind of best spoken dialogue system. It can be answered quickly or it can answer the kind of correct answers. It's uh, the answer the friendly. It's depending on our kind of our, uh, the, the, uh, the, the applications. Uh, actually what we want the system to do is very different. Uh, and again, it's not like an absolute measure uh, compared with the, uh, the speech recognition. And the same for speech enhancement uh, uh, the, and so on. So this, uh, the, due to this, uh, speech recognition is widely used, not just because this is a good application, but also because that it is a very good machine learning uh, benchmark. So many actually researchers, machine learning researchers, after they develop a very cool techniques, they apply the speech recognition Again, with that, we can easily evaluate the performance and so on. The, if we guys the, 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 list some other measures and so on, the, 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 like a blue or uh, the, the, the other measures and so on, you, some of you may know that you know, this is not fully correlated to the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the subjective uh, evaluation, but the speech recognition performance, whatever it is quite correlated. But uh, this means that we need a transcription, right? To compute the kind of a speech equation, we need a kind of difference and then hypothesis, and then we could compute a kind of error, right? So actually uh, the transcription uh, is important, uh, uh, whether to evaluate ASR result is correct or not. And of course the speech equation is now becomes kind of completely machine learning uh, the, the, the problem, which means that the supervised training is very important. Uh, and the transcription is again very important. So to evaluate the ASR and to kind of train the model, anyway, a transcription is important. Correct transcription is important. So now I kind of move to how to obtain the transcription. So to uh, explain about the kind of a how to obtain the transcription, I will also explain about the two types of the speech uh, the database. One uh, is uh, let the speech, and the other is the spontaneous speech. And depending on this type, actually whether we can access to the transcription or not, it's very different. So first, uh, the, what is let the speech? I think I have an example here. Hope it will be. That's a bit moving, which has been moving in tandem with the mark recently.
And this one is actually spontaneous speech. Okay. So, do you have do you have a long? Yeah, I guess not. Not if there's. I was raised in the. And. Uh, he began a confused complaint against the wizard, who had vanished behind the curtain on the left. Can you listen to the audio? Okay, good. And the third one is uh, the very famous database called LibriSpeech. And this is actually dead speech. It's actually an audio book. And then uh, the, some people actually are the reading, actually reading the book. So whether we kind of read some kind of uh, the, the, uh, the text or just kind of having a conversation and the recording. And then the speech, of course, the speech style is very different, but actually the in terms of the transcription access, this is also very different. Okay, let's move to the let speech cases. Let speech cases, we just read that sentence. So this is actually easy to correct. We just ask people to read. And also, uh, it is easy to anonymize because this sentence may, be, may not be very related to this kind of personal information, right? Of course, voice can have some kind of privacy, but the content doesn't have any kind of uh, the, the information. So actually, this is also easy to anonymize. So this is actually one of the easiest way to collect the data. However, the critical issue is that it's not our usual speech. It's not a real conversation. And then uh, the other option is to actually uh, transcribe the recording. This is a kind of a, probably most kind of a, uh, the, uh, the realistic way to get our speech and the corresponding uh, transcription. But it is very expensive. Um, that's actually, for example, the switchboard audio, which I kind of played as a spontaneous speech example. Uh, it's, if there is no kind of training, it's just two minutes of the audio. Uh, the, if we try to transcribe, it takes 30 minutes uh, the, or even longer uh, and so on. And it's actually getting more difficult uh, if uh, the moving to the kind of uh, the, uh, the, the the case that the microphone is far from the, uh, the, the original, uh, the, the crosstalk microphone setup. In this case, uh, actually the data is quite distorted. And then the, the data, uh, the, is, uh, the, uh, the speech is uh, the very noisy. But this also happens in the, our real kind of uh, the scenario. And uh, this uh, the, is the case that you know, I show the demonstration, right? I kind of are having the, uh, the, uh, the, the demonstration uh, with a lot of noises, but they can actually uh, the well kind of uh, transcribe the data. This is actually partly because uh, they have a transcription even in this kind of noise situation. And I will again play several kind of audio. Uh, this is uh, the one of the audio that uh, they, they uh, collected the, in the project called Chime 3 which I am involved in. A year earlier, GM Hughes had first quarter profit of 116. Base rates are the benchmark for commercial lending. Sources say at least two bidders had some doubts about Citicor's performance numbers. Rates are expected to remain at those levels. We'll move a little higher this week with the Treasury Department's quarterly auction. This is one project I collected data. And the other project, I also collected similar data. And this previous project called Chime 3, third version of kind of a very noisy speech uh, the recognition project. And this is six, uh, uh, six version. Oh. Yeah, so what do we do, Doc? Uh, <laughs> 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 I was good. <laughs> 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 you have ideas about what to do. O
Like, you know, at least get the crap top. You just, I'm just tired. You tired? So tired. Yeah, yeah. don't worry. You guys don't want First, this one and uh, this one, <laughs> which one do you think it's uh, easy to transcribe? Yeah, chime three or chime six? Which one do you think it's easier? Uh, yeah, chime three, right? Yeah. Chime six is, you know, uh, the, the many people are speaking each other, conversation. So it is actually very difficult. And then the uh, second uh, quiz. Uh, I want to check the result actually. I'm happy to see that everyone is correct. <laughs> it's a kind of obvious, but uh, now you understand what is red speech and what is you know other noisy speech, right? It's actually very cool. This project, we ask the people to actually read the sentence in this kind of scenario. So people are very painful <laughs> because you know the, 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 there are a lot of other people are also here and they have to read a sentence and answer it. So the two are the transcribed audio uh, I use the Audacity, uh, which is actually developed here at the CMU. How many people have ever used Audacity? Okay, cool. Yeah, not so many people, but it's sufficient. And there are several other tools like Web Surfer or Adobe Audition and so on. So, uh, or several other transcription tools, and then we can actually add, 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 transcribe it. And how to do it, I just kind of add, add, making a dem add, add video of how to transcribe uh, by using the other, other CD. Okay. So first, that specify uh, the segment, play the audio, and then <laughs> transcribe it. This specify the audio segment, play oh. it. Transcribe it. This is, by the way, one of the yeah, homework. <laughs> and and it, it doesn't take so long time, but just you, I want you guys to you know uh, the, the experience this. So, um, so yes, the answer is uh, that, that even human, we have to diarize and recognize, and the system also have to do it. So uh, the, the, we have a, a lot of speech data, uh, and I kind of listing this kind of speech data, but there are three categories. Uh, one is kind of uh, the several institutions uh, collect the data and release it. And this is a kind of, I would say, classical style. And LDC is the most important, uh, most kind of famous uh, the, the, uh, institute to collect the data or get the kind of data from the data provider and release it. And the, this part, there are a lot of kind of famous uh, old database and so on. So if you want to actually use this data, uh, please let me know. Because uh, the, let, uh, because the LD, CMU is a member of the LDC, and uh, you guys actually can potentially get this uh, the data free. But uh, of course, the, the, it's centralized with uh, some of the faculties and so on. So it's better to ask me. And there are several other, other the, uh, the, the uh, way to kind of uh, the uh, correct uh, the the uh, the get the kind of speech data find the speech data the other is the web based uh, the the uh, the resources and here usually we can get this data free and then the, the also license can be uh, less restricted permissive license and the other is the YouTube and the podcast and so on this has a little you can download it but license is kind of little bit gray so be careful about how to uh, use it especially when you use it for the research or even commercial and so on, it's basically, it's very difficult to use. Uh, but we still have a lot of resources, so why not we try to use? And the, the other uh, the comment, uh, uh, we often use the, uh, uh, the, the unit, our, for the speech. So like, for example, I often use, you know, that we have a thousand hours of data, which means a thousand is actually large. 
<laughs> you guys may not have a, a sense, right? The thousand is a kind of large. We can start to make a commercial product. Hundred hour is not very really large, but we can start to make a speech system anyway. And less than hundred, it's starting to dip, very difficult to uh, make a speech recognition system. Uh, and we may need to, for example, uh, the combine it with uh, the pre-training, fine-tuning strategies, and so on. So this uh, the, uh, the happens in a, a lot of low-resource languages. Usually, the data is less than 100 hours. Yes. 